Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the lunchtime stream. It is Friday, the 2nd of March. Hope you're well. And for one final time, we are going to strike up Recursed and put it to bed. So we've got three more of the diamonds, rubies to acquire. I actually spent a lot of time off camera yesterday working out where the paradoxes are and how to solve them. So I know where they are. I have solved all the paradoxes at least once. So um, hopefully my memory will not fail me and I'll be able to remember where they are, where they were. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll crack on. But without further ado, let's get into the last tapestry here for one final time. But regardless of whether we find them or not, this will be the very last stream of Recursed. As much as I love this game, I think I have dragged it out far enough. So, Drop is our first one. I did make some notes. Now, this was the trickiest one. This was the trickiest one. Because I've I've struggled for ages on how to create the... Um, the chest paradox. So... I kind of need to remember what it was that I did. I don't think I want... Ooh, hold on. I don't think I want that just yet. We'll jump through here. Do something like this. Um, hmm. So don't have that in there now. All oh, right, so clearly I've already forgotten what it was that I did. Great stuff, Nock. Great stuff. Maybe we just need everything down here and have a big party down here. I don't know. Let's go in here. That's not what we need to do. Let's go in there. Go in here. Go in here. I think I forgot what to do. Okay. Maybe I'll work on the Maybe I'll do the, the chest paradox first. That might be better, right? Uh, okay. So we'll go back. Create that to here. Take this one back. Go into here. chest. You know what I said at the beginning about spending all that time yesterday going through these levels so I knew where the paradoxes were and what to do. Clearly that worked out well for me. Okay, so I have that and that. Mm -hmm. 
So I have to go back down and get the chest. Let's get them both in the same room. Hey, Port Punky. I'm mad with myself. Before I started the stream, progress was great. I spent about two hours yesterday going through. I know where the last ones that I need are. I worked out how to, how to like access them all. And now I can't remember. It's not going great. Not a great start. Other than that, everything's hunky-dory, tickety-boo. Sorry about that, guys. Um, no, I didn't find the hint, poor Ponky, actually. I didn't. But I do know where everything is. I had to... Yesterday, I had to look up how to do one of the, the, the chests, because it's been driving me crazy for, like, two episodes. Um, it was one we had to kind of, like, create the, the ruby area... And then we had to create the paradox, then we had to recreate the ruby area and do it about three or four times before we got the end result. Um, I looked up that one. Um, and when I was on there, I didn't, didn't give anything away, but I saw that there was five diamonds and five rubies um, in each area. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, yeah, I do know that much. Which is why I know I've got one diamond and two rubies left to obtain. Hold on, what if I did this? Then I did this. Oh, that's right, I would need that. That could be what I am looking for, actually. Ooh, wait a minute. Start creating 
There we go. There's the paradox. Okay. So. If I had to guess... I'd say we're going to do something like this. Pop this back in here. Take this one through here. Swapsy. So that will get us up to here. Uh, no, I didn't find the hint, poor Ponky. I, um, as I, as I said, um, I had to rely on, I, I looked up something yesterday because uh, there was a puzzle which had been driving me absolutely balmy for um, over two streams. And it was one where you have to create a, create the ruby area. And then once you've created the ruby area, you create the, um, you create the ruby area, then you have to create a paradox, then you have to go back to the ruby area, and then you have to create another paradox, and it was just, yeah. So I looked up that, how to finish that one. It's the only one I've looked up. And um, I, after that, I saw that there were five rubies and five diamonds in this area. So... I know it, it was very evil, you evil boy. Um, I know for a fact that there was, um, or there is, sorry. Um, I can't even get my words out. I don't want to try and say. I knew for a fact that there was five of each, and this is. Oh, how am I going to do this? I can't do that. I'm getting distracted. Oh, I didn't think about that, did I? That's how we're going to do it. I've inadvertently solved the puzzle, maybe? Maybe. So yeah, I saw from there that there were five rubies, five diamonds. Um, I spent about two hours or more yesterday just going through the various levels on here um, to try and find them. And like I said, I did manage to work out how to do them all. Although, the way the stream started today, you wouldn't have thought that. So, um, anyway. I'm pretty sure there was, um, I'm pretty sure there was a, a much easier way to do that puzzle that I, the way I did it as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do here... Uh, sure, what's what's the hint? I, I definitely, I seriously, I know the levels where they are contained, so... Um, yeah. Fire away. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we're done with this one. So obviously in the original game we had the numbers at the top in the ooblick there was like the map in the middle column right so yeah I, I have no idea what it is 
There's gears on the first screen of every level. Okay. Oh, those! Oh, wait a second. Now, interestingly... <laughs> yes! Okay. Okay. So, I think, looking at this, it seems like they possibly turn one way for one thing and one way for another. So, the ones on the left here are turning to the right, and the ones on the right are turning to the left. And if I go to here, say, the ones turning to the left are indicating diamonds, and the ones turning... Sorry, the ones turning to the right indicating diamonds, the ones turning to the left indicate rubies. That's 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 crazy, man. Seriously. Way too subtle. <laughs> Jeez. I'm glad I don't live in Port Ponky's house, man. <clears throat> I'm glad I don't live in Port Pongus House if that's way too subtle. Anyway, I need to create a chest paradox here. No, chest paradox. I need to create a cauldron paradox here now. We've created the chest one. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Let's think about how we might do this. I, to be fair, uh, they just blended into the background for me. I really hadn't seen or noticed that much of, of what they were doing, if I'm completely honest, so. My wife, do I fancy pizza for tea? Sure. I never turn pizza down. Pizza's my favorite food. Because <laughs> I'm a normal person, I didn't notice it. Fair enough. So I need to create a cauldron paradox, right? So I need to take this out of here. Hold on, I need to remember this again. I swear down, I worked this out. The hardest thing for me to work out was the chest on this. It, it took me a, a real long time to work out the chest one on here, but um, I'm sure I got the cauldron one pretty quickly. Well, if I take this down here, though, right? And then if I do this and swap these over to here. Don't know why I picked up the green chest for. That leads to orange.
I forgot what I needed to do. That should do it, right? No, because now I've just lost that chest. I think I did the wrong one. No! Come on, Nock, you got this. Everything down here, right? So we have everything down here. one leads to orange. That one leads to blue. So I'm going to lose this one, right? Let's do it. Yes. All right. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, sorry. We can like totes do this. Why did I just... Oh my goodness, I can't believe I just said that. Okay. Oh, come on, throw us into the wall, not please. Thank you. Oh, come on, I should totally be able to make that jump. Let's 
That's not right. That one was like really easy in comparison. All right, so according to my list, the last one should be in Voyage. So. Really? Yeah, then I remove the chest from this room. I was confused then. Yep, yeah, nope, I got it. I got it. So. So I gotta create a gotta create this first. Oh you turd Ted. Done it again. 
Oh, not quite. You're playing it. Chest, please. Thank you. Time. I don't want to exit the room, I want to jump in the cauldron. Please. Thank you. So, is it not just a case now of doing this? No, because I've fucked it up again. I should have dropped it. I should have dropped it down the pit. That's what I should do. Almost there. To create in the... <sighs> so do you have a different name for the ruby areas, Port Ponky? Or do you still call them... Um, ruby areas? I do that. Do I? That could save me a whole lot of bother, actually. Let's just do... I'm going to put the green chest in here. Take this one out. Jump through here. Yeah, I'd say it's a bit of trouble. If I don't throw it too early, that is. if I need that or not, but I'll take it anyway. Through the cauldron. Through the cauldron. Drop the cauldron. Right. So we do that, and we can use a block to get the key back out. Really? It's it's really that simple. After some of the ones we've um, after the, some of the ones we've experienced. you in your big mouth. Oh, all right. You in your big mouth, knock. <laughs> oh, poor Bongi. Because I'd be like, well, that's just... That just came across as being stupidly easy. I knew there had to be a twist there somewhere. Question is... Can I... I can't get out without the block. could do it the other way though. I could take this into the other chest. That's what I could do. Sorry, I mean the other chest into here. Is what I mean. Oh, 
Oh, I feel a right fool now. Here I was like shutting my mouth off going, oh my god, I can't believe how easy this one is in comparison. Um, and then we end up with this. Go away, please. Thank you. just like thrown yeah I was just thinking about maybe I could have brought something from the the previous area but as with a lot of like these areas you kind of made them quite cleverly you've made them so that you you have to jump uh, and it's too high to jump with an item which is um, very well made and juggling. Not that it really helps us. I did um, work out this one though. That intended just to drop it on the top like that. <laughs> wow. There we go. We are officially 100% on Recursed. 
What a journey it has been. Thank you very much, guys, for everybody who has been here for the ride, everyone that's tuned in, everybody that's had encouraging things to say. Thank you to Port Ponky for giving me something to focus on over the last uh, 20 odd hours that I've spent playing this game. Um, deep down, simple concept, but fantastic puzzles. Congratulations. Um, and I look forward to seeing maybe more games from you in the future. Um, thanks as well to Eddie, Paul Ponkinese, unofficial PA, for even recommending the game and bringing the game to my attention in the first place. So, um, yeah, fantastic stuff. Guys, thank you very much for watching. That's going to bring us to the end today. As always, links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. We'll be back on Monday, and we've got a brand new game to start on Monday. Uh, I've got a whole list of games to play. I'm swaying towards um, Human Resource Machine. That's maybe what we're going to be playing um, starting on Monday. So come by, say hi, check us out. But until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. This has been Recursed. Happy gaming.